the game more clearly with extra view lenses from Norval Opticians with £50 off our exclusive freeform frames. Well, we're talking about another defeat, David, but there's a different feel about Gloucester's performance in this one. No doubt. It's, when you and I spoke after the, the Leicester game, I think there was a bit of anger and frustration just that we let ourselves down. Today it wasn't a case of letting ourselves down. I thought large parts of the game were very good. We played some great rugby, um, scored some great tries. A lot of the first half dominated field position. Um, but that last five minutes, just before half time, cost us when we'd kick off. Made a mistake, kick off. Another mistake, penalty, maul. And those are the small margins against the very good teams that th th there's not one or two key moments in the game, there's half a dozen. And um, you've got to win more than you lose. Started the second half very well to pull yourself right back into it and then a defensive lapse let them right in behind your defensive line. Number eight, Reader just burst through first up tackle. And yeah, that's disappointing. One of the strengths of what we have is our, our, our first up defensive line, our, our phase play defence, our multiple phase defence is usually very good. But again, today, when you're playing against a team that have that X factor that Wolves have, we almost felt like we can, especially the second half, Every time we scored and got ourselves right back in there, we conceded very quickly. So it's frustration for us. Strength, you know, is a huge part of why Walsh are top of the league. Um, but we'll sit down, review the game, find plenty of positives, but most important to get ourselves ready for Harlequins. Things to learn, new techniques, new tricks. Not probably politically right to ask you about uh, opposition players, but uh, maybe a line this time is going to be bringing the outside centres into driving walls at line outs. Do you think off with two tries at driving walls? Yes, yeah, not often you, you, you come off number 13, two tries. Look, that's one of the areas that they got dominance from us. They were successful at mall times, so we've got to go away and look at that, how we combat that. We faced the same problem, or faced the same challenge last two weeks ago with Leicester. So, look, we'll go away, review that, see what happened, and try and make a plan to make sure it doesn't happen again. It is, it is, the frustration is still there on your face, it, just those tight margins because, as you say, there are times in that game where Gloucester really stressed losses. The, the frustration and disappointment, I know how hard the players work, I know how hard the coaching staff work, everybody is striving because we know where we want to get this team to and we just feel we're, we're so close to it on so many occasions. Again, this afternoon was another one of those where there was so much good in the game. But to beat the best teams, you've got to cut down those errors and too many errors. One question to ask is the idea of, of replacements. We saw a, a flood of... Uh, could, could you feel the game slipping away and decide, right, let, let, we're, we're not going to follow the same track, let's get those replacements on the field? Uh, the, the game ebbs and flows. It, you know, as, it, as that game, right from the very first moment, we were dominant, they were dominant, they got some try, or created some try scoring opportunities. And that second half, when there was just one score, and it felt like a key part of the game. And um, we just felt that the impact the players that we had coming off the bench could make a real positive impact and they brought some energy um, and as I said we, we scored a couple of very very good tries during that period of the game and uh, but again as you said a couple of lapses cost us dearly. Harlequins at home next week back to the treadmill but plenty to build on for this week. Set aside the 80 minutes against Leicester the last seven eight nine weeks we, we've been performing well we haven't always got the result that we felt we've deserved. We haven't always got the points from the games that we felt we deserved. So we know that we're tracking reasonably well on how we're trying to play. We know what we'll have to do next week and we know the threat that Harlequins will pose. But um, we're going into a run of five or six Premiership games in the European quarter final, which is obviously the where are we going? going to have a huge impact on where we finish the season. Oh.